and welcome to Antelope News. I'm Mackenzie Kremlund. And I'm Alexis Henry. UNK offers a number of events throughout the semester that help prepare students for life after graduation. Last week, the Academic Advising and Career Development Department hosted the 2021 Fall Career Fair. UNK's 2021 Fall Career Fair was held on Tuesday, October 5th at the Health and Sports Center. The fair was the biggest yet with over 120 employers in attendance. I talked to Emily Beeman, the Assistant Director of Academic Advising and Career Development and what students can look forward to for years to come. So uh, looking forward for the career fair, it's just, a, it's just a really good opportunity to learn about employers and different opportunities, especially if you're not sure what you want to do after you graduate. Uh, and then to prepare for next year, research the companies. That's the best advice that we can give. The career fair hosted all different types of employers, ranging from the Buckle to the FBI to CPI and more. While attending, students were also able to stop by the check-in desk and take a complimentary headshot. I talked to students Elisa Pablo and Rebecca Sadler about their experience while in attendance. So I like the career fair a lot. It made me ha find more opportunities for job search and other jobs I didn't know that were out in the Kearney area. So I think it would give me a better future um, to look into after I graduate. I enjoyed uh, the conversations at different tables. Um, they were really professional and really nice and I learned a lot from them. Attending the career fair gives students the opportunity to talk to and build connections with a number of businesses throughout the community. If you missed this semester's fair, make sure to keep an eye out for the next one. More excitement last week stemmed from the annual homecoming lip sync competition. Grace McDonald watched the teams fight for the gold and the homecoming court coronation. Students stormed the stage at this year's 33rd annual lip sync competition for UNK homecoming week. With no mask restrictions, students were able to see the smiles of the homecoming court finalists and also the most important factor to the lip sync, lips. UNK alum Austin Jacobson from Hits 106 emceed the LPAC event. The lip sync teams performed five minute routines while being judged on appearance, originality, choreography, talent, and song choice. All while embracing the theme of searching for blue and gold. Here are the lip sync results. Phi Delta Theta, Gamma Phi Beta, and Lambda Theta Nu took home the gold as the champions. Also sharing the spotlight were the UNK Drumline, the Sapphires, and the cheer team featuring the UNK wrestlers. The night ended with the coronation, at which DJ Hardwick and Holly Rockenbach were crowned the 2021 Homecoming King and Queen. How does it feel to be Homecoming royalty? It's super exciting. UNK has offered me so many opportunities, and I'm just so grateful to represent this Loper community. It feels great. I'm so happy right now. Um, it feels great to be selected by a very proud community of Lopers. Tonight, we watched the homecoming coronation and the lip sync battle where students flexed their lip sync skills like this. Congratulations to our homecoming king and queen and the winners of this year's lip sync competition. For Interval News, I'm Grace McDonald. We'll have more about the UNK homecoming at the end of the show. The Loper Pantry is asking the UNK community to give to those in need. For nearly 10 years, the Loper Pantry has provided over 10,000 food and hygiene items to students at no cost. Um, so really we're also looking at any sort of partnerships that we can work with organizations or groups on our campus as well as the community, um, as well as any donations that we can get to secure funding for the Loper Pantry because through donations and funding, 100% of those donations go to purchasing food for students, faculty, and staff here on campus. Students can shop for non-perishable items as well as fresh bread and produce. The Loper Pantry is located in the Office of Student Diversity and Inclusion in the Nebraskan Student Union on UNK's campus. The office is located on the east end of the first floor. One UNK staff member has taken learning to an unexpected place, the beer tap. Ryan Range takes us to Upper Room Brewery in Kearney. Business Ed and Brewskies. That's the method for UNK alum Dustin Favinger, the director of UNK's Career Center, as well as a co-owner of Kearney's newest brewery. The Upper Room Brewery is a, is a place where individuals can come and connect as a community while enjoying quality craft beer. The Upper Room is a joint operation by Favinger and local pastor Mike Freitag. Favinger says the business provides a unique opportunity for learning. 
And I'm able to take a lot of experiences and examples that we do here at the brewery into the classroom. It's really gratifying to talk to my classes about, hey, what's going on at, you know, at the brewery? And here's a theory that we're talking about in the textbook. And we applied it at the brewery. And I hope they're able to, to uh, connect those two pieces and it really be a, you know, a better business-minded professional as a result of that. Among the takeaways from his work at the brewery, Favinger says that the ability to learn is one of the most valuable lessons of all. Teaching the curiosity or like the importance of how to be curious and how to ask questions so that you get the answer that you need, you know, that's not in the textbook and um, you just have to be persistent. For the Antelope News, I'm Ryan Range. Thanks, Ryan. Antelope News wants to remind our viewers to please enjoy alcohol responsibly. Fall break begins this weekend. Tomas Margaret's talked to UNK students on how they plan to spend their time off. As we reach the halfway point in the semester, students are really looking forward to the long weekend ahead. I'm going to Arkansas with the Outdoor Adventures program on a rock climbing trip over fall break. Over fall break, I'm going to be working, uh, catching up on school, and hanging out with some buddies and uh, going out of state. Over fall break, I'm going to go to the Husker Volleyball game with my grandpa. We'll be back after fall break with more sports highlights and UNK event coverage. If you're watching us on YouTube, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We end our show with the video of the week featuring the lip sync competition. For Antelope News, I'm Mackenzie Crumland. And I'm Alexis Henry. Thank you for watching.